a whole turn. When I take a whole turn, I move and face the same thing. I'm facing the flower waist now. So, when I take a whole turn, I actually face the same thing. Remember, there are two kinds of movement. One is the clockwise and the other one is the anti-clockwise. When I say clockwise, remember how the clock, the hands of the clock move? Numbers, it's on the right, yes? So, this side when I move, it's called my clockwise. Well, when I move on my left, it's called the anti-clockwise. Shall we take a whole turn clockwise? Let's do it. So, I'm taking one whole turn clockwise. I'm facing the flower ways again. Now, let me try taking a whole turn anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is the opposite side of clock side, clockwise. So what's the opposite of clockwise? It's anti-clockwise. That's the left side. So I move here. I complete my whole rotation and I face the flower waist again. So that was about whole turn. So you saw Miss Aisha moving on the clockwise side and also the anti-clockwise. Right? Now coming to the second turn, that's half turn. I'm facing the flower ways and I'm going to take only half a turn. When I say full turn or the whole turn, I have to come back here. What's exactly the half? Half will be opposite. It will be the opposite direction. So if I'm facing the flower ways, I turn, I take half turn clockwise. Let's see where I reach. Remember the trick? It's opposite direction always. So, clockwise on my right. There you go. I'm facing the couch now. Alright. I come back again. Now, let me take a half turn anti clockwise. That's the opposite side. The left one. Half turn anti clockwise towards my left. I am facing the couch again. See? Whichever side it is, I yet face the opposite direction. So for whole turn and half turn, no matter whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, the direction you face doesn't change. Clear? Now coming to the quarter turn. This might be a bit tricky, but we can fix it. See? I'm right in the middle. I've got four things around me. Right? One, two, three. And this is the fourth one. Now, I'm turning towards the waist. I just take one turn. This is one quarter turn. Let me take another quarter turn. One. See? Let me take another quarter turn. I'm going to face the west now. Let me take another quarter turn. Miss Aisha took four quarter turns. Four quarter turns equal to one whole turn. So I was just thinking, how much is half turn? How many turns make half turn? Remember, half turn is you face the opposite direction. So if I'm facing the desktop now, I'm going to take half turn. No matter if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, you face the same thing. Let's do it. Opposite direction. I'm taking half turn. Count the turns along with me. One, two. I'm facing the dining table. That's opposite. This is west. This is east. I'm facing the dining table now. And how many turns equal to half turn? Two quarter turns. So another. Let's try to take a quarter turn. I'm facing the dining table now. I want to turn, take a quarter turn towards the left. So, one quarter turn, that's only one turn I take, and I face the flower waist. Okay, one more quarter turn, anti clockwise. Anti is the left side. So, one turn, I'm facing the desktop now. Okay, 
I will say one more to turn clockwise. Clockwise, remember the key word. Clockwise is towards my right. So, yes. Okay, I turn towards the couch. One quarter turn clockwise from the couch. Clockwise is my right and I am now facing the desktop. Let's try again. I am facing the couch. One quarter turn anti-clockwise. That's on my left side. So I take only one turn. I am facing the dining table. Remember, it's important to make a note of which direction you are looking for. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Now, the next is three quarter turns. In the name itself, it says three quarter turns is three quarter turns you take. I am facing the desktop now on my west, okay? I'm going to take three quarter turn clockwise. Clockwise is the right. Three quarter turns. Three times I turn. Let's do it. One quarter. Two quarter. Is it done? No. And three quarter. I'm facing the couch. See? Now, let me turn towards the dining table and take three quarter turn anti-clockwise. Anti is the left side. So let's do it. One quarter turn. Two quarter turn and three quarter turn. I'm facing the couch. Well, that was it about the position and direction. I'm sure you learned about the different turns and also about the direction. Right? You can try this activity at home as well. Love you. Have a good day.